just want to do a short, unscripted, informal video to uh, introduce you to the SP uh, 1810T uh, film tank. This is going to be for 8x10 uh, sheet film. Uh, the T stands for taco. You can see where that comes from. And when this came off the printer, I was really excited about it. I like the grip. It's got a natural pour uh, feel to it. Uh, unfortunately, this is the vent and this is the fill drain, so you got to do it this way. So we're going to have to rework this lid a little bit. Um, the light baffles in, are in the top. It uh, fills and drains right now in about 8 to 10 seconds. No film holder is needed, and if you compare it to its predecessor, this was the prototype of the SP2810 uh, that we did, I don't know, a year and a half or roughly a year and a half ago, whenever. Uh, this thing was a beast. Um, it would do two sheets of film, but it had complicated film holders required, and it took a liter and a half of chemistry. And the mold was going to be just outrageous. And it was heavy. It was hard. Even with two hands, it was awkward to hold. Um, it just was not an elegant solution. This is really elegant. Uh, to load it, there's no film holder. You'll just take your film, fold it like a taco, and it will just slide down. It will just slide on down, and the spring tension of the film will hold it to the uh, inside of the tank, away from that uh, inner, you can see the inner core. Now, the inner core allows us to get away with only 400 milliliters of solution because that core takes up uh, about 400 milliliters of volume itself. Now, a couple of things we're addressing. Like I said, we got to redo the lid here a little bit, minor tweaks there, and the... One of the problems with this core is if you were to put this in a water bath, it's going to float like a fishing cork. So we're going to open this up down the side so that it's a little, it's got an air gap on that end there so that if you want to put it in a water bath, it will, it will stay submerged. Um, we have some testing coming up this weekend. We hope to be shooting it with, uh, or testing it with some real film. If everything goes well, there's Probably going to be another prototype, but if everything goes well, we hope to launch a Kickstarter on this by the uh, middle of August. So stay tuned for more details. <laughs>